Hey guys, so finals week just ended, which means I'm officially a junior, which is crazy to say. I thought I would share with you my finals week journey and how I studied for some of these finals, so hope you enjoy. Hey y'all, guess what? It's finals week. So it's finals week, which means that I have finals this week. Three of them to be exact. Um, so this is how the schedule's going. So today's Monday. Monday and Tuesday I have nothing, which is great because that means I can study. Wednesday I have two finals. Uh, they're both three hours long. They're gonna be fatty. That's gonna be a horrible day. I can already tell, but you know, as long as I go into it prepared, I think I'll be okay. My last final is a bit odd because they let you take it anytime from, it's weird, like you can take it in the, span, in the 24 hour span from Thursday morning to Friday morning. I'm planning on taking it Thursday night so I can study all of Thursday and then just take it, which would be, you know, set me up for success basically. So right now it's Monday, I'm gonna go study. I'm about to go to my favorite coffee shop where I like to work. Usually this cafe is like full of other students from other colleges, so it's like really hard to find a seat, but, since every single school in the country has finished, except for us, they're like, there's like no one there ever. So I'm gonna go sit down, study for like a couple hours. So yeah, let's go. Here's how I was studying for this final. I brought my note cards, as you can see. Honestly, note cards are not like the best way to organize information, I feel like, because there's not enough space, but note cards make me feel really productive and I don't know, like I did something, so I like using them. So for this class, we had a big review session. Obviously the review session couldn't go very in depth on any of the subjects, but it was a good overview. So when I was in that lecture, I made sure to take note of the subjects or the units that I had more difficulty on because there are some units that I feel like I've mastered pretty well and then some units that I'm still confused on stuff. And so I marked down those units that I had to look further into. And then I took the lectures that corresponded to those units and I went through thoroughly and wrote down key terms and, you know, key equations, key concepts, stuff like that on the note cards. Even though there's not that much space for information, just like the act of writing everything down makes it stick in my brain more. And then you also have a physical location in which you can find this information that's not kind of like stored on like my iPad or something like that. So after going through all of those units and writing down all the key terms and concepts on the note cards, I took a practice test. And I really think that practice tests are the best way to study because there's no better way to prepare for a test than to practice it, right? So practice tests will give you kind of an idea of how the questions are structured and what a potential question might look like because even though you're learning concepts in class, you need to get familiar with how you're going to be tested on them. I also think practice tests are a really good way of like forcing yourself to study because sometimes you really don't have much direction and the lack of direction makes it harder for you to actually start studying. But just saying to yourself, you know, I'm going to do this one practice test is a great way to make sure you do it and just treat it as another homework assignment you know what I mean so that's how I studied for this test I was there for like three hours um great productive sesh uh yeah hi guys it's Tuesday I'm actually like in the middle of listing a bunch of crap on Depop so you know that's why that's going on behind me and also go check out my depop it's this i forget the username honestly but at the same time i'm watching a review session for my econ class that i forgot about but luckily they recorded it so i'm watching the recording but this class is on pass fail so i really don't care that much but at the same time i don't want to humiliate myself by failing so bad because the class is not that big so if i get an exceptionally low score they'll definitely notice and probably like just think i'm stupid which isn't the worst thing in the world but trying to avoid that so right now i'm watching the review session it's giving me like a great overview of every topic but not too much on like the specifics and for this test you really need to know specifics so i think i'm gonna go over old lecture notes and stuff like that and i'll show you when we get there but yeah 
So this class was a little different because they actually explicitly said that they were not going to give us a practice test, which again is my primary method of studying. They also made it really clear which aspects of the course we had to know and how much we had to know of each one. This class is a little unique because it was a lot of theory and subjective analysis, but also a lot of empirical strategy and empirically analyzing results. So as you can see on my big study guide that I started making for the mid term, I took each lecture and split it up into like qualitative things and then one side for empirical and quantitative things. Honestly, I don't know if it was the best method of taking notes because a lot of things fell into both subjects and then I just had to, you know, put them in one column. But since they gave us so much direction on which aspects we needed to know, for example, they really told us to know all the empirical strategies, all the assumptions you needed for those empirical strategies, etc. versus the readings we did in class, we just had to know the background of each study and the main results. I was able to to break it up and focus more on the right column than the left column when it came to reviewing topics. So yeah, that's how I took notes for this class and how I studied. So it's 7.30. I've done two practice tests for my first file tomorrow, which is at 9 a.m. And honestly, I think that's enough. What? There is another final after that the same day, which I probably should study a little more for, but that is a problem for after I finish the first final. But yeah, that's it. My brain hurts. It does. It really does. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. and I'm about to log on to my final because it starts at 9. I'm just taking some last minute prep, looking at some slides and making sure my Excel sheet is set up well because we can use Excel, which is a game changer. I'm gonna clear my workspace because right now it looks like shit. Seriously, though, look at this. See, I knew when I bought this desk that I would mismanage the space to an extreme level, and you know what? I've really kept that promise. Okay, I'm ready. So then I took my final and let me know why I think I actually killed it. I think I actually smashed it. I've never been this confident in a final in my entire life. I'm kidding, but I think I did well. Haven't gotten grade back yet, but overall 10 out of 10. <laughs> So that's one down, two to go. So my next final is like, well, I can take it anytime today, but it's probably gonna take it sometime in the early afternoon, which means that I don't have that much time. So I'm gonna like eat some food, probably take a nap. Awesome. putting off my second final because I just don't want to do it but yeah I finished my first final at like 12 now it's two I'm gonna do my second final and then I'll be uh, so close so close Y'all, guess what? I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm getting ripped. I don't know why I'm like so excited because I'm like not done yet. Like I still have a final tomorrow, but like, ugh, today was just like horrible. <laughs> now it's over. So that's good. I really want some ice cream. Probably tonight I'll start studying for my last final, which is tomorrow. They did have a review session that I didn't go to so i should probably watch that video oh there are practice tests but this class is so hard like it's my algorithms class but not the normal algorithms i took normal algorithms last semester this is algorithms on steroids like weirdly buff algorithms okay that metaphor doesn't really make sense but it's just like it's just algorithms that are like so 
complex they're not even that complex it's just like complex to the point where its application is really hard oh my god my brain is over it's dead done for i need to take a nap i need to take a break sounds so good right now okay now Hey guys, <laughs> um, okay, give me one second. So you might have noticed that there was no update from yesterday after I finished with my finals. And there's actually a really good reason for that. The reason is that I turned my brain off and I turned my computer on. And then I watched Law & Order for six hours. Yeah, I watched some SVU, watched some of that new one, Organized Crime. Not as good as SVU, but I still like it. Anyway, so it's the next day now. I went to the gym. I'm actually a little nervous for this final today because I got a grade back from another one of my classes where I thought I was going to get an A, and I didn't. I woke up to my friend telling me to check my grade, and so I did, and it was a B. So my GPA sucks. Here's the thing, though, is like, in order for me to get an A in this class, that I have the final for tonight, I actually have to do like really well. Hmm. Now, I don't think that that's possible. Here's the thing, I've been telling myself so many times this semester that like you need to stop worrying about your grades. Like not in the sense of like, you know, fuck it, get Fs, like not like that, but like one B won't kill you or like having a report card of Bs won't kill you or even like a C won't kill you. And I've been trying so hard to internalize that and I think I kind of got there but at the same time i'm now just using it as like an excuse to slack off because i'm like mm, i'll get a b whatever but like in reality i want to work hard and push myself and then if i get a b after that like that's okay but i have to put in the work first but i'm not putting in the work i'm not putting in the work but this class is so boring i hate it but i need to do well in this final um so here's how the day's gonna go i'm gonna make some breakfast actually it's like lunch because it's like noon now i'm gonna call my friend so that we can like review shit together because we're both in the class and then i'm gonna take this motherfucking final and pray to god that i do well i'll check back in with you later I'm not even gonna lie, half of this footage is just me and my friend talking about stuff that's totally unrelated to this class. So I actually don't recommend studying with a friend unless you are both very focused and know what you're doing. So we just went over some of the questions that were brushed on in the review session and just talked them through honestly because this class is so much theory and not much actual like calculation or implementation. So we were kind of just like talking through, you know, different concepts and stuff like that. And then I took the final not pick pictured it was super hard i really wanted to give up like five different times halfway because it was so frustrating because it was so hard i don't know but you know i persevered i ended up answering almost all the questions which is pretty good i think and yeah that was my last final guys that final was booty cheeks oh my god that was so hard guess who's done with their sophomore year. Oh my God, that's crazy to say. This final actually was atrocious. It was worse than I expected. Also, halfway through, I realized that my complex that I've been training that was like, your grades don't matter, it kicked in and I was like, you're right. I had to leave a couple questions blank, not even because of time, but just because I genuinely had no clue how to do them. And that's when you know that you're really fucked. You're not in a good place. And that's where I'm at. But you know what? I submitted it, no regrets. I'm done, yay. It's kind of loud in here. Sorry about that. Oh my God, I'm done. Oh my God, I have like no responsibilities anymore besides like editing this video. But yeah, that's gonna conclude this video. I wish I could give you more study tips, but to be honest, I didn't study as much as I should have. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it. Bye.